cacher sa blessure. Dis-moi. What's up guys, welcome back to Just JP. My name is Justin, and today we're listening to the band Wobbler and the song Fermented Hours. Uh, Wobbler is a Norwegian progressive rock band formed in 1999. I think that they had came up on Spotify for me. I'm not sure if it was Spotify or YouTube, but the album cover kind of got my attention. I thought it looked kind of cool. So I figured, why not take a, take a look over here on the channel? Um, I do have a recommendation for you guys. Uh, which I don't always do, but I've been trying to do a little bit more. Uh, that way I can share music that I explore and find on my own, share it with you guys as I explore music that maybe you guys have recommended to me. The band name was Harmonium. They're like a symphonic prog metal band. I think that they're French as well. I listened to a few of their songs, but I want to recommend the song uh, Legzil. I believe it's Legzil. It's, it's a nice soft sound pretty much the whole way through. I think that you guys will enjoy it. Much more laid back on the prog and rock side of things and, and kind of more towards a folky um, acoustic sound. But I think you guys will like it. I want to know your thoughts on this song and also uh, the song from Harmonium that I recommended you. And without further ado, this is Wobbler with Fermented Hours. <laughs> Once you be 
You know, on first listen of the song, I actually wasn't expecting to be as, as heavy as it was throughout certain parts. And, and it wasn't like heavy, like, you know, metal. But it was definitely like kind of old metal inspired, maybe a little progressive rock, but the harder side of it uh, inspired. And besides lyrically um, and the theme, the whole song has this kind of gothic tinge or tint to it, almost black metalish. Uh, tinge like out in the woods. I really like the distortion that's used on the guitar. It, it's it's very like like it's like it's screaming and not in the typical like Wah! like that, but it's like very distorted, very um, like it's shrieking in a way. I gotta admit, I really like the energy of the whole song, especially like you can break this kind of into sections, but in the first part, it's very high energy. It's setting a very quick pace. I really like his voice. His voice has this little grit to it uh, that adds to like this this mystery of what's going on. I love the bass line in, line in the back and, and the way that it's just pushing forward the rest of the song along with the guitar and obviously the drums, but uh, the way that it's doing that, uh, the way that the keyboards provide atmosphere. So even though it's fast paced, it still has this underlying melody with it. And the, the Italian spoken sections are, are nicely uh, dropped out with the music and just have that. And then it all comes right back in. I like it, it's just like a nice little break. Now it's really funny because it is an abrupt transition, but I feel that the abruptness actually works in its favor. I, I love this sound. I don't know what instrument that is that's doing that. Maybe the glockenspiel? I'm not 100% sure, but I really love that. That adds a certain um, culture to the song. Like, this is a very earth earthy song. Keyboards, once again, adding melody and atmosphere in the back. Just nice chords. But I really do like his voice, actually, a lot. I like this. This was probably my favorite section uh, in the song as a whole. I really like this. I could listen to this all day, especially the words, way that the backing vocals come in right here. Yeah, that whole section was definitely my favorite out of the whole thing. Got a nice explosion in the chorus. But I really, really, in this section, like the guitar. I really like that. Along with the vocals. And this just sounds cool. That. So there's a lot of things in this song that I actually really like. Like, every member is really, they really like shine and and do their thing very well in, the, in this song as a whole. Edgy guitar riffs, melancholic and harmonious verses, powerful crescendos, energetic spinet driven passages and an odd touch of flamenco and Italian recitals. It's those little touches of things that make bands like this stand out. And really that's what makes any band in any genre stand out is the little things, it's the details. Little touches, uh, those little instruments, uh, those little pieces of culture that are added in that really make it stand out. It's the different vocal styles that make it stand out. It's their storytelling. There's a lot of progressive bands out there, progressive rock and progressive metal, but a lot of them have just something that differentiates them and makes them unique and distinctive uh, compared to their peers. And here with Wobbler, I can hear the, in the I can hear the influence from other bands like King Crimson. They remind me a little bit of uh, Van der Graaff Generator in parts, sure but they definitely have their own unique style and it showed it showed off very well in this song the lyrics uh kind of honestly remind me of like <laughs> some of it reminded me of uh, avatar the airbender um but it, it it sounds kind of like alchemy that especially with the ending uh, describing all the different elements um possibly to create something create life uh return something dead to life fermented hours i mean it's talking about things that are based it's talking about a recipe basically being cooked um for what not sure but the fermented hours, whatever these things are, are left to probably ferment. Um, and this is the time that it's being done. So like I said, what is it for exactly? Not sure. It could be able to bring someone back to life or something. Who knows? But it's funny how complex this song is in different parts. But that it still maintains a very forward momentum throughout the whole thing. Even when it slows down in tempo, the whole song like just never stops. Obviously, most songs don't stop. But I think it's the way that they do it as a band it, that makes it really uh, interesting to listen to. I definitely enjoyed the song. I would absolutely listen to more. Uh, this song gets me interested in the rest of the album. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Did you enjoy it? Hopefully you did. If you didn't, let me know why. I love hearing your thoughts. Uh, of course, don't forget to let me know what your thoughts on the other song that I linked from Harmonium. You guys can otherwise join me in the comments down below. You can join me on Twitter. 
and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Have a great day. See ya.